Hi Sarah, so um, thanks for meeting us today um, for the for the March newsletter and have a chat about uh, a bit about what you do. So um, I get lots of people in the shop asking about, oh, I want to do Kung Fu and my first question is always what sort of Kung Fu, like China's pretty big so I wonder if you could tell us a bit about the history of your style and, and what, what it is basically. Okay. Um, well, for beginners, we teach Wing Chun and uh, then move on to five animals. Um, some people have never done any martial arts, so it's quite a good style to start with because it's not too complicated. And then when people get to Brown Sash, they start with Praying Mantis and RG Kwan, which is what Wu Tan is really famous for. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's kind of how we do it, and we do stretching and sparring and pad work and weapons work in the class. Um, and we the, <coughs> the sparring side is light to semi, so um, you know there's. I don't like teaching full contacts. I like people to be fit and healthy and not all broken ribs and <laughs> yeah, banged dis- up. Yeah, banged up. Yeah. So, but in Wu Tan as a whole, there is full contact fighting on in the international level. But uh, so occasionally I have students that go to train in that. But my own preference in the club is light to semi. Okay. So it's just, okay, so you start off with Wing Chun, mm-hmm. um, and yeah, five animals, which is also a sudden style, is it? Uh, I think it's more in the middle. Okay. I think so. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. then yeah, and then you add in. Yeah. So we do different things to start with, and Chang Chuan as well on the first at the first level, which is uh, low stances, building up the leg muscles, teaching ta- uh, waist turning, basic punching. And it, it's a uh, yeah, it's, it fits together like a beautiful jigsaw puzzle, but it sounds puzzling from the you know, you think how would that work? But it's it's really well crafted the syllabus. Yeah, yeah. And when you ne- the student needs the next challenge, there's the next challenge, and the introduction to weapons on the second level, a uh, stick, and then um, the out tail. Yeah, so it's really really exciting. Yeah, yeah. Um, sort of a question that pops into my head, so I'm going off piste on my questions a bit. But if you, so is it, would you learn like a, the full system of say Wing Chun and Chan Chuan or are you pulling the bits out, you know, are you pulling say the, the leg strengthening drills out of one or mm. the hand speed drills out of the other or how, how does that work? Because obviously someone can spend a lifetime doing mm. Wing Chun, so mm. how, how do, like I assume it's, it's almost impossible to do those systems in a complete I know what you're saying. Can you see what I mean? And yeah. Maybe I'm not explaining it very well, but how do you, um, yeah, so ha- what's the what's the kind of thought behind the mixture of the system? Well, I have studied pretty much all of the Wing Chun empty hand stuff. Some of the weapons things I haven't done, mm. but I've done uh, butterfly knives and pole uh, and loads of chi sao. I haven't done loads of wooden dummy, but some of the people in the school have. Mm. So we've got wooden dummies at our centre. Um, so I've done most of the system um, enough to teach it to quite a good level. So in in a in a way, you can say yeah, if you d- do lots of different things, so we teach them individually. So we've got pretty oh, okay. much complete systems within the school, yeah, yeah. and we choose to specialise in different things. So I. Um, I've been working on my Baji Kwan because I'm, uh, that's what Master Wu teaches, mm. but I have done a lot of praying mantis and five animals and my five animals, I have, there's a couple of forms that I'm not, I'm less familiar with, but then we have some different specialists within the school, right, so yeah, some yeah, people yeah. pick one system to specialise in and other people pick a different specialism, yeah. and then we, if we want to practice up a particular thing we'll go to them to polish off or ask questions or collaborate yeah, and work. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was going to ask, so do you do, do you do like seminars with those specialists? Can you go and they put on a day or yeah, are you just going to do privates? Or? Uh, we don't usually do private lessons. My teachers um, come and teach and we get teachers from uh, other s- schools coming from China yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. Um, on the more modern wushu, but most of the things we do are more traditional, but the modern wushu forms are really fun. 
yeah, and yeah. So, so we do get to see within Wu Tang a lot of different styles of martial art, and that's quite exciting. Yeah. Do you know when I mean, we've got an idea about most different things, but there'll be specialists within our school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <coughs> yeah it's good. So, um, can you, uh, for people that don't know you or haven't heard of you, can you give us a bit of background on yourself and how you got into martial arts and kind of how you've ended up where you are now? So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, well, it, I basically I was uh, 20 and my friends were going out and they were stay. I didn't want to be on my own because you know, I was just a 20 year old mm. and I wanted to be with my friends. <laughs> yeah. And they said they were going to this thing and I said, what is it? And they tried to explain and I didn't know what it was and, and it just sounded really weird, but I just went along and it was Tai Chi. Right. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and I was just immediately, this is amazing. And because uh, our, my teacher is a, um, um, you know, we teach the martial side of Tai Chi as well as the mm. healing side, so yeah. it's very much both. And he's a really outstanding Tai Chi teacher, Tai Chi teacher. So um, it was amazing, and I just trained with him. And some when I first started, some of his top students straight away. I was really lucky to just stumble into this brilliant school. <laughs> yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And um, so then I did a year of uh, Tai Chi. And um, I did have a, you know, I was a bit of a wild teenager, so a year of Tai Chi was just got my health up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I completely changed and was really healthy and trained all the time and started Kung Fu and uh, worked in my teacher's Kung Fu shop and, uh, and uh, trained, so I don't know, about um, 13 to 20 hours a week. Right. Which isn't a lot. loads, but it's quite, it's quite a, lot. a lot. That was 20 to 25, so when all my friends were off at festivals, yeah, yeah. I was training every weekend. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. So it was, uh, yeah, no, and I think that was really good for me. So, um, And then after well, I was 25, I retook my A-levels and did all right, and then went off to Nottingham to university, and uh, there was nobody there teaching. So uh, my teacher said, well... Um, you do it okay, but you're no good, something like that, because you never, you know, you always have to train harder, and the, the, you know, the perfection is unobtainable, yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean, so, yeah, yeah. but he said, okay, if you want to try running a little group, see how you go, and I only wanted a few people to practice with, mm. um, but it suddenly there was like 20 people, <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, oh, and uh, they really enjoyed it, and they were like, more nights, more nights, so then I did more nights, and mm. then it was four nights a week, so... And the Nottingham branch is still running up there. That's so, good. and um, and then in 2000, I had a year off and went travelling around the world, and um, then moved to Bristol and set up the school here. Um, yeah, so it's been all the time training. I, I know it's just like it has to be part of my life. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Has to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm martial arts. So your Nottingham class, did you did you train people up who then teach? Or did other mm. people get kind of shipped in to uh, take I it over? I trained them all up. Yeah, that's good. Um, and I, I know, you know, it's not something I sort of planned, but I was naturally quite uh, good at. Mm. And I, you know, like you know, I remember being a child. You know, when you play games when you're children, I was really bossy. Right. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would be in charge of who was doing what and yeah, telling yeah. everyone where to go. So <laughs> I don't know if that's yeah, why. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, uh, there's, there's been some really good teachers that have come. I've taught uh, quite a few really outstanding teachers, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Um, so we were, we were chatting in the shop a few weeks back and you said you'd just got back from China, so training out there. So I think your, your main guy is based in Malaysia, right? Mm. So uh, you obviously went there with him to see him. So. Uh, um, Maybe you can tell us a bit about it. Mm, well, Tay Soon Tuan is the head of Wu-Tang UK. And um, I just got back off holiday and I hate flying. And he rang me and said, right, uh, do you want to go to China? And I said, when? He said, you have to tell me today. <laughs> I, was like, I was just like literally in the airport saying, hi Tay, what is it? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, no, I'm not flying. I can't fly. I'm not doing it. And that was that. Yeah, all night I'm awake thinking I have to go to China. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm going. That's yeah. it. So I rang up. Can I please? Can I go now? Yeah. Can please let me go? He's like, all right. So then uh, six of us went out to China, and um, we had a week in Beijing, just um, 
tra bit training in the park and just milling about and looking at the sights. That was really nice. And then we met Master Wu flew in um, with his students from Malaysia. And um, we, haven't, we haven't all met up before, so mm. it was really exciting. And then um, we went to the Beijing Sports University and I met um, Jet Li's first uh, teacher, right. a little tiny woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, she got my room for me because it was all double booked and she the reception giving them loads. You know. <laughs> so I, I was nearly without a room, but yeah, so yeah. she was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and like suddenly it's an amazing room. Yeah, anyway, and then <laughs> it was just lovely to see the Beijing Sports University as well. It was really fun. And uh, then this little bus arrived. Uh, yeah, then. Uh, Wu Tan, Japan, and Wu Tan, um, uh, Taiwan arrived as well. And we were this little half bus, of, you know, this half bus, and every single seat was taken. And I think because the date of the event moved, that it was quite difficult for some people to get there because we'd all booked our flights. So it was due to be more people, but it was a half a bus, you know, and it's sort of big, quite big, but. Um, and we, yeah, every single seat taken, I think that was just pure luck, mm. because I'm sure, I can't imagine they, well maybe they did plan it down to the last two, but <laughs> <laughs> the suitcases just piled up, you know, everywhere, yeah. and we went off to, um, um, oh my Chinese isn't very good, it's Tangzhou or somewhere, a big industrial city, and there was a big Baji event there, and there was a huge hotel, I'm not, um, we went and had a meal with everyone and some of the, yeah, no, I was quite surprised at s some of the old Chinese masters and their drinking little ch shots. Right, yeah. They were quite robust. <laughs> some didn't any, most didn't any, but some were quite like hardy, you know. <laughs> yeah. But I think some of them maybe are policemen and, you know, all types of people do martial arts in China. And they weren't all Wutan people there, they were Baji schools from all over right. China. And the next morning it dawned on me, we, we booked the whole hotel out. Every single room in this massive hotel was from Baji people from different schools in China. And um, we, opened the, we opened the display, the, the Wutan, Malaysia, Taiwan, UK and um, Japan. We did a display and opened this huge event. Just so scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was really fun, and uh, I think if you train hard and you really put, you know, you do your very best. That's my opinion. That, that joining in, and participating, is the spirit of martial art. Mm. You know, you work, you, you achieve the very best you can, and maybe there's someone better than you. Maybe you're not so better, or maybe on the day you retired or anything. But that effort. Yeah, and yeah. that determination and then it's participating is the important thing. Yeah, yeah. you can only do your best then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but it was very, over I actually felt quite excited and blown away, but it was quite a very overpowering sort of, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, First yeah, yeah. time, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, I did quite, I did okay, you know mm. what I mean? I didn't make any mistakes, my stances were low, and, yeah. you know, it was okay. Yeah. But I sort of, I think if I got used to training at that level with pe people of that level all around me yeah, yeah. I would and you don't see many European 49 year old women in those yeah, yeah. events really yeah yeah I think <laughs> I mean demoing in front of like a knowledgeable crowd like a crowd of martial arts always the hardest crowd to perform mm -hmm. so because yeah, they're just you know they, they know what they're looking for you know they're not just appreciating <laughs> the like the thing are they they're just they're, they're kind of critiquing it so yeah it's always going to be uh, petrified oh yeah and um yeah no totally um yeah my martial art uh, big sister while we were out there she had her 70th birthday right and she did say um you know she's uh yeah, i don't know what her and her husband were there and they trained for years and they're absolutely awesome jeff and barbara and they had a lot of interviews with them. Right. She's tiny as well, and she's still teaching, pretty, but she's so skillful, and she's 70, and I'm like, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but she's, uh, yeah, so she, they were there with us as well, and uh, did the display. She's probably got to keep going, I guess. She'll keel over. If she <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she's got a really amazing heart. Right. She's got a really slow heartbeat, and it's a really strong. Right, yeah, So yeah, she's yeah. just got genetically got this yeah, wonderful yeah, yeah. heart. Yeah, lucky old uh, I don't know my heart as well, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so it was really, it was really amazing. And just watching some of the other Baji people and uh, just having fun with everyone. Uh, the Malaysia 
Bhutan students, they were really funny and I was surprised at how, you know, just brilliant fun and yeah, yeah. just awesome to see the display and I think that did has helped a some, little bit with me understanding what level everyone's at in different parts of the world and, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, working to bring even that out. Yeah, really good to see that. Mm. It's fascinating. So, um, so we'll come back come back to England. Um, so you've got quite a few schools in Bristol now and you're, you're like you're doing some and you've got instructors that are teaching as well. So um, like what's the plans for the future with Wu-Tan like as far as you're concerned? Like do you want to, is, is it kind of where you, you like it or you plan to build it up or like what's, um, what are the goals? Well I think um, in 2015 a lot of my brown sashes seem to either get promoted children move house and they just stop training mm. and then we moved our advance night so it was almost like a we've got a new, the next generation coming up yeah. and they are some of them have already got black belts in other systems so they're really nice to teach <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. it's so easy you say oh, front kick turn and kick and they just do it yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, there are some new new people as well but it's really fun um, last year, I, I was just like thinking, oh no, well, who's going to, I'm 49, are people going to want to train with me? But <laughs> apparently they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's reassuring. Yeah, and yeah. Um, we, we seem to have acquired a whole lot of new people. And, um, um, thank you, Star Wars. Right, really? <laughs> yes, it made a difference, so. is it? The Olympics, thank you, the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Um, I think it does inspire people a little bit to yeah. come out and train, you know. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, there's lots of new people to train up. And I don't know if you find it as well in your training that it, it has to sort of modernise all the time. It stays the same, but people come in and they have different thinking and they have different, they, their sort of idea about what they think it is and what they want. It's all sort of changing. So it stays the same, but you have to sort of... Um, uh, it's like putting software up, updates into it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you want it to be for people, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it has to be engaging. And, and I guess the trick is teaching the same thing, but in a way that the new generation will understand it. Yeah, and be or like engage with it and really find it exciting. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. it's um, yeah, it's interesting. I I I have chats with people in the shop quite a lot um, where the schools necessarily aren't doing that well, and they're talking about. Oh, we've got to like save the style, mm. you know, and and it's up to me to save it. And you think, well, you know, if it's, I personally think, if there's no place for it, mm. then maybe it shouldn't exist, you know, mm. like maybe because, like, it, people aren't doing it or they aren't engaging it for a reason. Mm. It's not that, you know, you know, like it's it's people out there's fault. Like no. people will do it if they love it mm. and they want to do it and. They're, and, totally and they understand agree. it. Right. So um, I think, yeah, you're right. It is. It is about constantly just keeping on top of sort of the development of society. I guess. Um, I remember reading a book, quite a bit of Gandhi when I was younger, and uh, I was really struck by something that he wrote about organisations. That an organisation is only um, only stay alive if you make it useful to people. I mean. Explain it really carefully, <laughs> but uh, you have to adapt the, the organisation all the time to keep it alive and to keep people interested. Yeah, if yeah. it stays the same, we're not in the same time. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. the way you know, like um, you know, social media and what how people become interested in what you do or where they look, it changes all the time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, uh, yeah, interesting. It's. Um, I like that. I'll, I'll sit and think about that for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I usually do. Um, so just to finish off, really, so I wondered if you could give us the details on your club. So if want, someone wants to come and train with you, uh, where can they do that? What time, if you can remember them all, like when, where people are, mm. can come to do that. Mm. Um, and then also like a phone number mm. and website email. I'll put them all along the bottom. Of the, of the of the screen, so it'll come up, and I put it in the description. But um, yeah, if you let us know. Okay. Um, well, the, we've got a quick. I've got a quick timetable. It's bristol wutan uk and all the classes are on there. Okay. And um, then you can email me or text me. It's probably the best. Um, 
thing to do and sometimes I'm really busy and it can take a week or two to get back but I do try and keep on top of things quite carefully yeah. so um, and some of the classes are actually full so we have an intake maybe every month or two and then you'll get a little group of people joining together or right, yeah. not all of the classes are full so some of them you can join pretty much in, in straight away mm. just vary yeah, yeah, yeah. so um yeah so just text me or ring me it's uh, my phone number zero seven seven five nine five eight three six eight eight and uh, it's sarah dot bristol rutan at gmail dot com and it's okay. sarah s-a-r-e-r okay yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Aww, All right, take you. it easy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>